Hey everyone, it's Jazz, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jasmine, aka Jazz, and on this channel you will see cash envelope stuffings, budget breakdowns, savings challenges, and all that stuff related to personal finance. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please feel free to hit that red subscribe button down below. And let's get into today's video. All right, so as you guys can see, I have my workbook duo, and I have my cash envelope, so that means your girl got paid and it's time to cash stuff for the new paper. So I recently got paid and I'm excited because I am ready just to, you know, I guess be able to spend more money if I'm being honest. I don't know, I'm just, I'm really just happy that I'm able to um, be able to take care of my bills, take care of what I need to take care of, and then have some extra to do what I want and do as I please if I'm being honest. So. Let's go ahead and unstuff what I have left over from my previous paycheck and then we'll get into the actual cash stuffing like always. So let me go ahead and get everything ready. Okay, so I have my envelopes here and then I flipped over in my workbook over to the, my paycheck denominations and I'm going to be writing my leftover amount right here on the far right side just so I know how much I have left over after each pay um, or after each cash envelope sorry I was, I was gonna say paycheck but I mean cash envelope from my previous paycheck so first things first I have groceries and how are you guys doing today huh how is your day going hmm mine's going good the weather seems to be a lot better for once here in Texas so I'm not even mad about that that honestly makes me so happy guys so that is everything from my grocery envelope so I'll put that over to the side and I have a remainder of one two three four five six seven eight nine dollars left over for my grocery i'll write that down real quick and i'll put the money over here for now next up is baby things and i don't have anything left over but i do have my receipts um i just have some change left over so i have what is that uh oh i have 25 50 75 76 cents left over from baby things next up is gas and this one I have the receipt in there and then I think I have ten dollars left so I have a ten left over and I'll put that over there Next up is miscellaneous, and I know I got something in here, my receipts, and I have one, two, three dollars left for miscellaneous. I have all these ones, you guys, it's crazy. I feel like ever since I started doing my ones challenge, my ones, uh, my one dollar savings challenge, I've been getting nothing but ones. Like, I, I know last year I did not have that many ones left over from, from all my envelopes, so I find that funny if I'm being honest okay next up is my beauty and household I have my receipts I have five six seven cents and a dollar so a dollar and seven left over from beauty and household next up we have b-day holidays this one is $25 but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in there because I'm gonna get my um, my grandmother something for her birthday because her birthday is at the end of this month so I'm gonna leave that in there but I'll write it down just because I want to know note that I have that in there next up is spending and I have ten dollars left over from that And then lastly, we have fast food. And I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. I have my window open out um, out here. And the sun, it's the clouds, if that makes sense. So the clouds are moving, so the sun will come out and then it'll go away. And it'll come out like now. See, it's starting to come back out because the clouds are moving. So I'm sorry if the lighting just seems, you know, a little, um, what's the word? If it just seems to change a lot. So change-wise, I have 25, 50, one, two, three, four cents, so two, four cents, and then I have six dollars. So six dollars and fifty-four cents. 
sense. So put this all over there. So if I add up everything right, okay, I got my handy dandy calculator. of $65.37. So that's how much I had left over. But if I take away the 25, because I'm not gonna be putting that towards anything, I have $40 um, and 37 cents left over. So that is awesome. We always love so much over money every month, right guys? So. I'll go ahead and put all the ones and stuff together. Sorry, I'm just making sure they're all faced the right way. And I would at this point put it in my rollover envelope, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my money where I where I need it to go, so I don't forget <laughs> whenever I get to cash shopping and I'm at the end of the video. So here is my little box. It says love every moment, and in this box I keep two of my savings challenges, which is my fives and my ones. So here you guys go right there. So I'm just gonna put my fives and my ones in here. And that is pretty much it. And I want to say this is about 70 plus ones. And then I know I have maybe like $45 worth of fives. So yeah, so maybe I'll count that um, after, after April. So like the first, the first quarter, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm doing my math right, I'll count how much I have in that savings challenge. And that money is going to be saved towards my month ahead fund. So for the whole year, I will be saving um, those ones and fives and that money at the end will go towards my month ahead fund. That way I have that saved up as well. And then when it comes to my tens, all of my big bills that aren't fives or ones. So my tens, twenties, fifties, a hundreds that I have left over from every month will go into my emergency fund. And that will, and this is going towards my oh crap fund. So. my oh crap fund amount that I have goal um, that I have written down for my goal is 1500 so let me go ahead and write this down real quick so I should have a total of 100 200 20 40 60 80 320 40 60 80 420 40 50 60 70 80 90 505 dollars so i hope i counted that right but that's how much i have in this m r in the yeah in this envelope in my sinking fund which is good because i am like what a third of the way there so that's awesome 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 we love saving our money and hitting our goals you guys so now that we have that out of the way oh almost forgot forgot to put my change in my change cup and another update on my change I um, I took all the change out of my manger that I have where I keep my change and I've uh, started to roll all my coins but I still have some coins that need to be rolled but I can't roll them until I have the you know the full total amount to roll them so what I have been doing is saving up the change that I have now and then whenever I have enough to meet um, the amount to roll my coins I'll roll them so once I get all of my coins from last year rolled then I'll be able to start a new in my jar again when it comes to saving so all of these are separate are separated from my main coin jar because I want to be able to roll all those coins before I add my new ones if that makes sense that is pretty much that so let's go ahead and get into the main thing you guys let's go all right, before we begin the cash stuffing, let me just do a really, really quick breakdown of how 
and where my money is going to be allocated for this paycheck. So as you guys can see, we're going to be stuffing $1,021, but your girl is lying because 10 of that is online, okay? Always online. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for my cash envelopes, I'm going to be stuffing $180 for my groceries, $120 for my gas, $55 for my baby things uh, envelope, $30 will go for my miscellaneous um, household and beauty and my spending, and then $50 for my birthday and holiday, and then lastly $30, $30 for my fast food envelope. So that'll be a grand total of $525 that will go towards my cash envelopes alone. And then moving on for sinking funds and savings and such, $10 online has already been moved over to my savings account with my credit union, and that is $10. And I think I'm at a total of 500 and I want to say $553 for my savings account. And this amount is also going to go towards my oh crap fund. So that is my um, emergency fund, my, my other emergency fund um, envelope in this binder. So this one plus my savings online will be going towards my grand total of my oh crap fund, which will be $1,500 total. So if you think about it, your girl is, um, I have what, a thousand dollars, a little over a thousand dollars, which is awesome because my grand total is 1500. So we're almost done with that goal, which I'm so excited about. Next uh, next up, we have $5 going towards my daughter's savings, and that's in our little piggy bank, and I'll show you guys that in a bit. And then we'll have $100 going towards my emergency fund, which is that same fund I'm talking about for my oh crap fund. And then lastly, we're going to be stuffing $381 towards my sinking funds, and I'll talk more about that whenever we get to the actual stuffing of those sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get the money out, and let's do it, y'all. Okay, so we are ready to go. And if you guys have noticed, I finally, finally, finally went ahead and got a cash tray, guys. Like, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, guys. I got this from Amazon and I will try my best to link it down below in my description box for those of you who are interested in getting one. But yeah, I had to get one, guys, because I stuff different denominations and I get tired of like having it laid out and then I have to like move my binder and then I have to move this and move that and it was just doing too much. So we're going to try and see if having a cash tray is going to help your girl out. So let's go ahead and get the cash and we can see for ourselves. So real quick, I'm going to do a quick count or attempt to do a quick count with my money, but I have the money here in my hand. So First things first, big bill. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars. And my 100 dollar, and I don't know, I think I'm gonna go that way. And then I have 51, 50, 200 dollars for that. And then I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 40. Sorry, I had you guys zoomed in still. And then next up we have 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then for fives, we should have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 dollars for five, which is good. And we should have 26 dollars in one. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And I counted off again. I always get my ones mixed up, you guys. Let me do it again real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there we go. My ones always get me, guys. So, that is my bit. Okay, so we'll do it. I don't know how to do it yet. They're not, I don't have them all filled up, but 
That's the cash tray. Oh, I like it a lot. Ooh. Okay, let's get to stuffing, guys. This video is already long enough. So first things first, we're gonna do my cash envelopes and then we'll get to my sinking funds next. And again, my cash envelopes are what I use on a day-to-day -day basis and my sinking funds are going for things like social occasions and events and stuff like that that I'm planning for future. So first things first, we're gonna start with my grocery envelope and that's gonna be, that's going to be getting $180. So that's going to be 100, a 50, a 20, and a 10. So again, $150, 70, $80 for my groceries for this next couple weeks. And that's done. Next up is gonna be gas and that's going to be getting $120 and I had to up this up because gas is insane but on a positive note gas has come down it, it was as high as 409 I think like last week but recently the last couple of days it came back down to like under four dollars so I'll take that I actually need to get more gas too while I'm talking about it but I'm at that point now, guys, where I'm like just waiting it out. Like I will wait until I'm on E just to see if maybe the gas will come back down and then I'll, you know, get some gas. I know that's really risky, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Next up is baby things. That's gonna be getting the regular $55. This is for my daughter to get her um, whatever she might need, essentials, clothes, um, toiletries and all that stuff. So that's that. Next up, we have miscellaneous. That's going to be getting $30. That's going to be a 20 and 30. Then we have household and beauty. $30 as well. Again, a 20 and a 10 make 30. And then for spending which is like my allowance i'm giving myself 30 dollars as well again a 10 a 10 a 20 and a 10 which make 30. and then we have birthday slash holiday coming up next and that's going to be getting 50 dollars, and that's going to just be the one 50 dollar bill straight and again i already have money in here so grand total, I have $50, $75. And again, $25 is going to go towards me getting my grandmother a birthday gift. And I'll probably give her a gift card to Marshall's. She likes going. She likes shopping there. So I'll get her that. So we're almost done. Last envelope for my cash uh, envelopes is going to be my fast food. That's going to be getting $30. So that's going to be three ten. So 10 20 and 30 And that is all of my cash envelope stuffed. So again, I just stuffed $525 for my cash envelope. So these are ready to go for the next couple weeks. So I'll put these off to the side. Next up, we have our sinking fund. And that's going to be in my sinking funds binder. So first up, though, not in my binder, is my daughter's saving. So a save. So hers is this little piggy bank. And she will be getting... Five dollars and here's her piggy bank and I need to go back and see how much she has in here because sometimes what I'll do with this is I'll just um, take everything out from the bottom and then I'll count it up and then I'll like um, have a track for it so I need to recount in certain new tracker just to make sure that my count for her piggy bank is correct because I will lose count all right so now we're going to be using my sinking funds binder to stuff the rest of my sinking funds. So first things up is going to be my e-fund and that's going to be getting $100. So there's, so let's flip to it real quick. And here we are and it's going to be getting the $100 bill. So I know I just added something to it, but now I'm going to be adding $100 to that. So. Let's real quick count this up again, just so we have a good amount. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 
20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 605 dollars, which is crazy. Trying to squeeze it all back in there. <laughs> so, real quick, I want to add this. Okay, so if I do the 600 plus the 500 and some change, I should have $1,158, no, $1,158 for my emergency fund, which is awesome because again, like I've been saying all video long, my goal for that is $1,500. So we're almost done, yes. All right, next up we have Cell Grad, and this is for my brother who's graduating this year. And again, I want to get him some money for graduating high school. And so the goal with this is actually 250. And so I think I actually hit it now. So I should have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. So look at that. I have officially hit the goal with this um, challenge or I guess savings goal. I guess challenge. I don't know. What do you, what do you want to call it? But that one is done now. So I'm so happy. So let me go ahead. I'm over here making a mess. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm officially done with saving for that, which is awesome. I'm trying to contemplate right now if I want to continue to save for it or not. I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. If I'm going to continue to save for that or not, I'm not sure yet. But if I do, I will let you guys know most definitely. Next up, we have Christmas. Christmas is going to be getting $30, and that's going to be a 10 and then four fives. So one 10 and then five, 10, 15, $20 Christmas. So 30, and this will go in here for now. And I still have money for my last cash stuffing, and this money needs to be moved elsewhere. And I will do that in a later video, guys. I keep saying that, but I really will. Next up is gonna be car maintenance. That's gonna be getting $20. So that is right here. And I recently got an oil change. I'm so excited about that. So I'll get to replenish my car maintenance envelope since I got that oil change. So I should have, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, and then 20, 30, one, two, three, four. So I have $234 in here. So yeah, not too bad. Next up we have JB Day, which is my birthday. My birthday is coming up next month and I'll be giving myself $30 for that. So that's my last 20 and a 10. And I'm still deciding what I wanna do for my birthday, guys. I really am. Um, so, look at that, I have all these 20s. So then I have a grand total of 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83, and then 10, 25. So 325, which is good. And I think I wanna actually beef it up because if I wanna do like an activity with my friends and everything, I wanna have a little bit more money just so I can afford the activity. But we'll see more on that later. Next up is gonna be invest and that's gonna be getting $25. So everything but the one. <laughs> so that should be Right, let me flip to it first before I count it. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five dollars will go towards my invest envelope. 
and I will put this in here as well. And again, I have other money in there waiting to be placed in its home. This is a temporary hold and look at that envelope. Oh, I'm so happy I can hold all that money. Then we have a invest and that's going to be getting $10 and that's going to be in two five. So five, 10, and that'll go right in here as well. Will it fit y'all? Will it, will it fit? Oh, it fit. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And now moving on to a holiday and vacay. They will not be getting anything this time and nor will my vacay because I move my money around and I took $20 from those two and I put it towards my gas for this pay period because gas is just so expensive. And plus, I don't have any real, real big plans planned for that money. So I don't mind skipping out on those two this time around just so I'm able to get gas. So that is how I had to work that one. And then lastly, um, $216 will go towards SA. So my out the rest of my money. So 100, 210, 15, and 16 dollars. And this money is going towards my trip at the end of the month to San Antonio so that my daughter can see her father's side of the family. So they do not live in, in the Metroplex where I live. They live way far from here. So um, we make an arrangement to meet every so often just so she can see that side of her family. So this is the money that I had last time that I stuffed and everything. So let's go ahead and put it all together real quick and count and see where we are at with the math. Okay. So we have a grand total of 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars and 10, 20, 5, 30, 1, 2, 3. So that's 433 dollars that I have for that upcoming trip. And that's not going to be until the end of this month, you guys. So I'm trying to save up as much as I can because if I'm being honest, I still got to book the hotel in San Antonio. And I was looking at prices, like, you know, I've been looking at prices, I think, oh my God, will it close? Barely, look at that, it barely closes, guys. I need to, I need to get this straightened up. Anyways, I was looking at prices of hotels and everything this past month for San Antonio, and the prices are just like bananas. So I'm kind of like doing the whole like last minute deal type, Thing where you just wait until like the day before and then you book a room um I don't think I'll do that I'm not that crazy but I've I've thought about it because whenever I look just to look like they always like if you look at it at least on google like it'll give you like a preset date and like they're better deals than when you put in your actual travel date when you want to go so I thought well if I just wait until it's like you know a few days before and I and I do it maybe I'll you know so I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm I just need to get it figured out but I stuffed with my sinking funds I stuffed a grand total of three hundred and eighty one dollars so like I said I stuffed today a grand total of one thousand and eleven hundred dollars for both my sinking funds and my cash envelope so that is pretty much it so that is pretty much it guys thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know it was a lengthy one but I hope you guys liked it I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, bye!